We give you greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is missionary evangelist Tony Abram, and we are here uh, substituting for Walter and Nina Zagrevich. Where, where are they, you may ask? Well, while I'm getting situated here, I will answer that. And we've got two very urgent prayer requests that we're going to have to pray for right now. Uh, God is so good. And uh, we, we, we're just excited uh, what God is doing. And we believe he's going to answer many prayers today as we pray. Now, we're pinch hitting. Uh, actually, we're on usually every Wednesday with Walter and Nina, and so half the team is uh, gone today, and uh, we're filling in, as I said. But uh, first of all, I, I, I need you to help me. Now, I'm going to ask you to take your phone and uh, or whatever instrument you're watching, uh, and would you please help us evangelize? Now, we're on a number of platforms. Walter knows all the platforms we're on. So it literally covers the whole world. Although today it will be all in English. And uh, uh, anyways, if you would, take your instrument and hit the star. Start, not star, but start. <clears throat> it just takes a, your little finger. You can use any one of the ones you want and just touch it. And you will be helping us do evangelism. You become part of the team and uh, helping us spread the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But first, let me let me just share this announcement that Walter and Nina have safely in, uh, arrived in Cuba. And last night, uh, I got I got late last night about one one thirty in the morning. I got a, a text from uh, Brother Walter, and uh, he said they had a marvelous meeting. They had problems getting in a little bit. Uh, they were held up at the airport and so forth. And uh, we'll leave that one in a, in a couple of weeks when they're back uh, to share that part with you. But uh, anyways, their service, they said, resulted in souls. And that's the greatest miracle that can ever happen. Came to receive Jesus Christ as Savior, Lord, and Master. And many were healed as answer to prayer. Now, immediately, we, there's two things we want to pray for. First of all, um, many of you know Daryl Peregrine, who uh, appears on this show from time to time to share. And uh, his granddaughter his precious two-year-old granddaughter it looks like now listen to this if this is an attack of the enemy had a stroke uh i mean that's on heard of and she's had last night a couple seizures but uh, uh daryl told me or texted me and told me that she did smile at him, and she did start speaking this morning, and and she's in the hospital. It's uh, the doctors are putting her on anti seizure medicine, so forth. But we know a better medicine that, in the midst of, I know the doctors do what they can. We're we're certainly not against doctors. Um, I remember a few years back when uh, they they ran over a thousand tests. They called me the mystery man. They tried to do everything to find what kind of infection I had in my blood. But that's another story. In the end result, after uh, some weeks, uh, the Lord touched me and uh, I was healed of the infection that was in my bones and in my blood. But uh, that, but God, they, doctors can do what they can. But we have the doctor of doctors, Dr. Jesus. And we want to pray mm -hmm. for this ch little girl. So Marge is going to pray for that first request. Would you join with us? And God would send a word there to a northeast part of Canada, up near Nova Scotia, in that in area. Nova Scotia, yes. And uh, Marge, 
uh, you being a, a dual citizen, uh, both Canadian and American, uh, would you please pray the prayer of faith uh, for that child? Yes, and amen. I'm going to take your hand here and uh, we're going to hold hands. Maybe you there could raise your hand if you're by yourself or take the hand of one who prays with you there. Uh, you might be in a sick room praying for someone yourself this this day. So Marge, would you pray for this precious two-year-old granddaughter of Daryl Peregram? Yes, Heavenly Father, we Lord, come to you Jesus because name. of our need, our need of you, Lord. Oh, we God. need you today, and we bring Adam this precious Kassian. little girl to you, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, All we pray people. for Brother Daryl, Vanessa, and Lord. Melissa, and family. In Jesus' name, we yes, just Lord. pray, and we Thank you, Lord, that you are on your throne. Yes. You're sitting at the right hand yes, of God, Father. making intercession for us Jesus. and for them. And yes, Lord, we God. thank you for the report that she yes. had a little smile. And Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name that you are working. We yes, come Lord. against this stroke that this little girl has had. In Jesus' name, we speak the yes, word Lord. of the Lord over little Melanie, Lord. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name, we just speak God's word over yes, her Lord. right now, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name, yes, the Lord. healing power of Jesus yes, flowing Lord. through that little body, strengthening her. Lord, and as a result of the strokes, yes, Lord, we command Jesus, that Lord. all of that results, oh, all of those symptoms will Thank leave that little body. Oh, and Lord. in Jesus' name, we speak your word, the healing power yes, of Lord. Jesus. Yes. For you said by your stripes, we were healed yes. and we are healed. Yes, so, Lord, Lord, we speak the word of the Lord of healing Amen, from the Lord. top of her head to the soles of her feet. Lord, we thank you right now. There's going to be a good report, a good report in Jesus' name. Lord, we're reminded of the word, your word. And I believe, Lord, it's in the Psalms 1720, where God sent yes. his word yes. and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Yes. And as March prayed, and, and I have agreed with her, and yes. I believe, Lord, yes. many that are watching Jesus, this and hearing this are agreeing in prayer. And you said one would yeah. put a thousand to 10,000 to flight. You said, Lord, yes. where two or three or you gathered together in your name, you would do it. Yes. And Lord, we believe you're doing it for this baby yes, Lord. in Jesus, Jesus name. name. And we're going to thank you in advance that yes. you're going to come through with yes. victory. Comfort yes. to mom and dad and grandpa and grandma, Lord, and all those that are gathered that, uh, they're in Jesus' name. In They're Jesus. praying and believing. Yes. And bless them all, Lord. In, in Christ's Jesus name we name. pray. Hallelujah. In we Jesus take authority name. over this in attack Jesus of the enemy. Name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then I bring you to yes. another prayer request. There's many requests. We can't get them all, but these are these are part of our team. Just like you're praying for your family. Uh, we're praying uh, for those that uh, were closely working uh, with this program with Walter and Nina and uh, the outreach ministry to the to the four quarters of the earth. And the second one was Brother Albert, who you see uh, you, usually with Brother Walter every Thursday. Well, he's part of the team of six that Walter took with him, uh, Walter, Nina, and four others. Uh, Sergio and uh, and Lisa and uh, and and, Florida. and and two yeah and a couple of brethren from uh, Florida and of course Albert and and uh, Nina and Walter, but last night I guess it was after the service, and here they're rejoicing with victory souls coming have come to Christ. Yes. Brother Albert had a heart attack. I haven't got a lot of info on it, except that Walter uh, contacted me and uh, told me to pray. And we are praying. And so Albert Ramirez uh, had a heart attack. The prophetic ministry. He, he yes. has a prophetic ministry, and you, yes. you have heard him. And it's just the enemy. Uh, the devil is a liar, attacking, 
the children of God, uh, the children and grandchildren, my Lord, the devil is busy, but our Father in heaven is busier. And because we can come to our Heavenly Father Amen. and we know, we know there is victory. So I'm, I, I'm going to lead us in prayer. Marge Green with me now yes. for Brother Albert. Uh, Lord, this precious man yes. of God yes. uh, who's been attacked, who went to Cuba, who, who paid his own way, paid all his own expenses to what? To minister to those precious people there in Cuba in the name of Jesus. Yes. So we, we're, we're going to pray. We're going to send the word that God will restore yes. him, yes. that his heart will be in, in better shape than it was before he left. Uh, oh, God, in Father, Jesus name. Father, we, yes. we, we want to pray for the ministry with Walter and Nina in Cuba. And Lord, we know that you're blessing him. You're going to bless him. And even this attack of the enemy, we know that this is an act. This is an act of the name. devil to to cause problems uh, and, and to uh, maybe discourage but lord we come in against jesus the name. enemy in the name of jesus uh, and we bring our dear jesus. precious brother albert yes. uh, uh, to you lord uh, in the name in of jesus, jesus. Name. Uh, we ask in god jesus that name. you would yes. heal him Heal him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Uh, Lord, uh, uh, if he needs a bypass, Lord, do it uh, without an operation. If he needs uh, 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 something done uh, to open those arteries or whatever has caused uh, uh, that heart attack, we come against uh, the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we send the word. The oh, precious Lord, word of God, name. where in you Jesus said, uh, Lord, in your word, oh, yes. I am the Lord, Lord that healeth thee. thee. And oh, by the stripes yes, of Jesus, Jesus we were healed. And we Amen. send the word, uh, that living Jesus word, uh, open up those um, uh, arteries if they need to be opened. A restore uh, uh, hit the heart uh, whatever is wrong lord we're, we're so far away from him jesus. but there's no distance in prayer yes. and we send the word in jesus, jesus name. name and lord uh, while we're praying for both this precious baby and we're praying for uh for albert uh, a complete restoration we pray for walter and nina and the rest of the team there Lord, that in spite of the attack of the Jesus enemy, and 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 put want to put our mind Amen. off of uh, uh, the the purpose of winning the loss to Christ. Uh, in the name Amen. of Jesus, uh, we come against the enemy, Amen. and we Jesus pray in Jesus' name. name for great victory. Uh, as Walter ministers the word, and, and the others share together in the particular ministry that they are doing there anointed Jesus. singing anointed uh, singing from the voice of uh, Nina Lord and whatever she's been sharing to the ladies uh, Lord yes. in the name yes. of Jesus Lord. we ask that uh, they might name. have great victory but Lord name. they were also bringing yes. those requests uh, for Jesus. healing for uh, for that uh, despair, in for Jesus that for that name. attack of the enemy, uh, for in that Jesus depression, uh, Lord, uh, that the requests have come in. You you yes. see uh, the brother there up in Illinois, uh, Lord, uh, his wife uh, not being able to sleep at night because of his uh, ailment. Uh, we come yes. against that uh, disease in the in name Jesus of Jesus name. Uh, that Jesus is locking his name. body that he can't move at times uh, and Lord in Jesus Parkinson's name and then yes Jesus Lord against Jesus that Parkinson's name. disease uh, and Lord in Jesus name, name. Uh, we Jesus come against uh, the enemy in that is attacking the men yes. uh, uh, in uh, not only here but uh, throughout the world requests come in for those suffering with prostate disease, 
women yes, yes, uh, melodies Lord, but that are coming in it's melodies that are coming and attacking the women yes, uh, in the name yes, of Jesus, Jesus uh, Lord uh, we come yes, against uh, yes. all those cancer oh, requests uh, Jesus, that have attacked yes, people and we yes, thank Jesus. you for the victories we've been hearing of people yes. being healed, healed after prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And Lord, do it. In, if Jesus you've done it once, name. do it again. Do it yes. again, Lord. And in Lord, Jesus for the babies, name. for the children, for the men, for the Jesus women, name. for the middle age, for the Jesus young, name. for the old. Lord, in we Jesus send the word of healing. Name. All these Lord, requests that have come Lord. in from Pakistan, in from uh, China, from Ta. Taiwan, and Lord, we see the terrible destruction that has happened in Taiwan with that earthquake last night. And Lord, I know what it feels like because uh, we have been in mild earthquakes uh, up in them 25th, 26th stories uh, and have the whole building swaying as we were preaching. Uh, oh, God. And Lord, but this one has brought much destruction. And we send the word uh, of, of healing and those that are trapped that they'll get out, somehow get free from the from the trap of the earthquake. Uh, Jesus, Jesus name. name. And then, Lord, Lord, for those yeah. requests that have come in from Canada, yeah. Lord, those are over there in BC, in Switzerland. Uh, Lord, uh, and I pray for those folks there in, in Slovenia, pa former part of Yugoslavia. Lord, uh, yeah. in, in there, what is happening uh, in uh, Japan. Uh, Lord, we send the word, name. let salvation come Lord. to those owners uh lord uh that that jim and darla sniper are working with them uh, lord in jesus name in china lord in africa lord uh, in europe uh, in ukraine uh, lord in israel lord the requests that have come in uh, and people have written especially from canada and u.s uh, from latin america lord uh, oh there's no distance in prayer and we send the word in Jesus' name. And then, Lord, every precious person that's watching on one of the platforms, whether it's Facebook, uh, whether it's Lincoln, uh, whether I, we, I don't know all the names of the different ones that uh, uh, this ministry is on, but, Lord, uh, many, many, and even on the Internet, on uh, Walter's channel, on our channel, the Abundant Life Crusade channel, Lord, in yes. Jesus' name, Lord, as, as Tom uh, McLaughlin and his dear wife, Bev, uh, Lord, uh, uh, keep putting these programs even on that, where in the future, uh, people are being healed, hallelujah, being saved uh, by the grace of God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And Lord, we could spend this whole hour uh, just praying for a different request but we bring them to the living altars yes. of God. And there at your living altars, we lay every request in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me encourage you wherever you are, just to slip your hand up and say, yes. praise the thank Lord. You, Lord. Praise the Lord. You, Lord. Lord, we just thank, thank you, you for the answer. Thank you, Lord. God, you're doing things. Thank we you, thank Lord. you that thank what you. we're hearing is happening in some of the universities, like the University of Alabama, yes. Lord, where you are pouring out your spirit yes. uh, Amen. in Jesus' name. Praise we thank you Lord. for the answer. Praise Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Praise God forever. Thank Praise you. God forever. You, well, friends, uh, this program, uh, we, we usually don't set it down how, how we're going to do things. With, we just want to be led by the Spirit. And it seems like God's Spirit has led us to pray. A matter of fact, uh, Marge, uh, I, I think you have a portion. We were talking about it. What should what should be our emphasis? And I, I, I had prayer on my heart, and you have prayer on your heart, yes, and amen. you have a portion you want to read to us, don't yes, you? Amen. Would you do that? And I want to share some, some things with the folks, too. Yes, we are very happy to be here today and to fill in for Brother Walter and Sister Nina, and we just are praying for them. We thank God for the good report we heard of the services and that God is blessing. And of course the enemy would work, but we're
God's grace is much more abounding where the enemy is working. God's grace is abounding much more. Amen. So praise the Lord. We can pray and believe that God is working and he is. Praise the Lord. I'm reading from Psalm 61. And these are the words of David to the musician, chief musician, it tells us. And it says, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than higher I. Than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me yes. and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of your wings. And then for thou, O God, has heard my vows. Hallelujah. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. You have heard my vows, David says. Thou will pro prolong the king's life, lengthen his life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve me. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, so that I may daily postpone my vows. And so we thank God for this portion of David crying unto the Lord. He knows God is his creator. He knows, he says, I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Amen. Lead me to that rock, rock that, that is, is higher, higher than, than I. I. You are you. my refuge. You are my strong tower, David says. He knows God is sovereign and his goodness and faithfulness is so good to us. Yes. And, he's, and when we're tempted to believe lies of the devil, tempted to, he, that God doesn't care for us. He cares for us. He is interested in every detail. Amen. And those we are bringing to him, our families, our loved ones. Yes. And it seems, Tony, that this portion was written while David was king because he talks about the king. It wasn't when he was fleeing from Saul because he wasn't anointed king yet. But he was anointed king later and his son Absalom was after him and chasing after him to destroy him. But he was, his heart was overwhelmed within him, and he was fearing what his son could do. And he did not want to hurt his son, of course. He loved Absalom, but he was fleeing from him. And so he said, lead me to that rock. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my God. You are my strong tower. And so he was looking to God to deliver him, his deliverance. Praise the Lord. So it seems like this psalm was written in, in deep agony and prayer. And that's what we want to pray today for your needs and for those that are you, you're praying for. We know God is answering prayer as we pray together and believe the Lord. Amen. Well, I want to share a couple of things with you. And we're going to be praying for the nations and, and any more requests that are coming in. Uh, I I saw I looked at my phone right now. There's prayer requests coming in, and uh, uh, we, we want to pray for those requests. God knows each and every one of them. And uh, this ministry, uh, Walter and Nina, being in Cuba right now, we want to keep upholding them. And yeah. of course, with that attack, uh, I can imagine uh, what added how, how it was that added burden. Yes, yes. but we're believing God. Uh, uh, giving a uh, complete restoration to to our dear brother Walter, uh, not ra rather brother Albert, Albert uh, 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 Ramirez, that God is doing a, a miracle, completing healing for that heart of his. He had a heart attack last night, if you didn't hear it uh, earlier in the broadcast. And uh, so we were praying and believing God for a miracle. Uh, I just wanted to share this. Do you remember in the word of God how the disciples were walking with Jesus? And, and one day they, they in the 11th chapter, the first verse of, of Luke, uh, it tells us uh, where they, they stopped and they said to the Lord, Lord, 
teach us to pray. And, uh, well, you know, these were Jewish disciples. If anyone knew how to pray prayers, they knew how to pray. I mean, from a child, uh, a, a Jew, especially those days, uh, they, they, they learned to pray many Jewish prayers, Old Testament prayers, the prayers of David and so forth. And uh, from the from the book of Psalms, and and yet here they come, and and I often looked at when I first looked at this. One day it came to me what they were actually saying was, "Lord Jesus, teach us to pray the way you pray." I mean, it doesn't say it exactly like that, but that's what they were meaning. Why? Because when Jesus prayed, when he was walking here in it in his physical body on earth um, with his disciples when he was doing the will of the Father, uh, he was uh, healing the sick, changing water into wine, walking on the water, casting out demons. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. And, and the disciples wanted to pray like he prayed because when he prayed, things happened. When they prayed, well, it was just nothing happening. And what did Jesus say to them? Oh, well, fellas, you're not good enough. You, you, you're not worthy. You're not like me. No, he didn't say that. But instead, he gave them that perfect example how to pray as he prayed. One book that has been in trance of mind that I wrote um, we might even call it a booklet. It's not a very thick book. Uh, I forget how many pages, maybe 70, 80 pages. Uh, and and it's entitled, Lord, Teach Us to Pray. Uh, it's been translated in Slovenia. Uh, so, and, and by the way, that's one thing. I, I don't want to have to be proud, but uh, that's one country that it was the bestseller uh, when it came out. Uh, and, and being sold from Bible bookstores. Lord, teach us to pray in the Slovenian language. But uh, thousands and thousands and thousands have been printed in, in uh, uh, the Russian language. And it's been printed in, in a various languages, Chinese. And, and uh, uh, I think it, now it's in the, the Polynesian. I think I, they've translated it. Well, I'm not sure. And, but a number of like Spanish and, and so forth. And around the world, and in it, the, my main point, my first point, is that if we're going to pray like Jesus prayed, <laughs> you know what it, we're going to have to do? If we're going to pray like he prays, then we have to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. Jesus did. And you read the scriptures and you see his close relationship because Jesus is God and God, I can't explain the Trinity uh, and give, I have thoughts, but he's both Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he's, he prayed there in the garden. He prayed to the Father. He had a relationship. You need to have a relationship if you're going to pray like Jesus prayed. And can you? Of course. Because when you receive Jesus, receive him as a personal Savior. I know most, most preachers, not all, most preachers, uh, they, they talk about accepting Jesus. Well, I don't like that so much. I like receive. As many as received him, the Bible says. And because, well, there's certain religions, and, and I, I can name one, but I don't want to call them by name, but they've got millions of gods. And uh, you, you tell them about Jesus, well, they'll, they'll just accept him. they got a whole bunch, they'll accept him too. But when you receive him, it's personal, really personal. And Jesus, if you're going to pray like he did, you've got to have a personal relationship with your heavenly father. You need to be a child of God. And how does that happen? When you open your heart and life and receive him 
You say, Lord Jesus, be my savior, my personal savior. Be involved in my life, in my home, in my family. I want to be part of your family. I want this to be personal. And when you do, it's like the song. You know the words, and he walks with me, Marge. What are the words? And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known and he's what's i like that that verse i come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice i hear falling on my ear the son of god discloses and he walks Walks with with me me, and and he talks talks with me me, and and he he tells tells me me, i I am his his own and then there's that old chorus they used to sing years ago i don't hear it sung now but uh, I'm a I'm walking with the king. Hallelujah! I'm walking with the king every day. I'm walking, walking with, with the, the king. king. Now the devil doesn't like it since I'm walking, walking with, with the, the king. king. Walking with the king. Walking with the king. Now the devil doesn't, doesn't like, like it, it since I'm walking with the king. Praise every God! Day every I'm day I'm walking with the king. king. Well, that's a personal relationship with with your heavenly father yes and that's what we need yes and if you're going to pray the way jesus prayed well friends you need that personal relationship and where can you pray do you have to go to a cathedral do you have to go to a a certain building no your prayers can be heard anywhere i know we've prayed a few prayers up in the air thousands of feet or meters in the air because it looked like the plane was going down and we've we've called on our heavenly father and after flying millions of miles over the many years uh god has kept us uh, by his spirit and by his power Mm -hmm. why we have a personal relationship and we can pray anywhere and of all the places if you were to ask me a question and I was thinking about this, uh, like in Israel, I've, I've preached in so many different places and locations, but my three favorite locations, if I can just take a few minutes and share this with you, uh, and I will bring you to my third favorite, second favorite, first favorite. Uh, it's not not on the Sea of Galilee, that was good. Uh, and uh, in some of the uh, locations, like the buildings, uh, they were good. But there, there were three outside places that I prayed that I thought were precious. And actually, the one was when I was doing a baptismal there down by the River Jordan. And uh, uh, the spirit, and you know, crowds are coming and going at these locations where tourists. But when I was there, the spirit of God came upon me strong. And uh, I I still have a strong voice for a person that's turning 85 years of age. And uh, uh, I still, I mean, I can get very loud. (laughs) And my wife just asked her, she knows. And, uh, but, but anyways, uh, I, I, back a few years ago, when we were doing the baptismal, and I remember Brother Morgan, he was helping me there and Brother Brandon Bora, uh, Bishop from Canada. And uh, uh, we, the, the water was so cold and some people, old people didn't want to go in and, and they just, we wanted to at least be sprinkled. And so I even sprinkled, I don't know how many of them. But anyways, the spirit of God came upon me in a very strong measure. And, and I closed my eyes and I, I felt like I was almost like John the Baptist or or Elijah. I mean, I felt like that. I, and now, excuse me, that anointing came on yeah. me so strong. And and I closed my eyes and I opened my mouth and I had a word of prophecies. It wasn't tongues and interpretation. No, it was a word of prophecy with my eyes closed. And, uh, and I must have went on about 10 minutes and I had never done anything quite like that. And this was right by there. But see, 
and the people had been gathering bus load after bus load. And where, uh, when we had started, there was about 50 of us or 60. Uh, and uh, when I opened my eyes at the end of the prophecy that God gave me there, uh, I looked and there were hundreds, I don't know how many hundreds of people gathered listening to the prophecy because the busloads were coming in and nobody was leaving. They wanted to hear the prophecy. And and I, I mean, the spirit of God was so strong and mighty. Well, I enjoyed that very much. That way you could share it. And I did that. And preaching should be a kind of prophecy, actually. Uh, we should be so anointed as men of God, women of God, that it should flow forth that living word with that anointing. But then the second place, and there was even a little comical end. Uh, we had a meeting there at the tomb where they had laid Jesus. And uh, I uh, remember ministering there. And we, we, I even had a communion service. What, what a precious place to have a communion service. Right outside the tomb. And uh, I know that one time, uh, many years ago, when Marge and I were uh, going to on a world tour, it took about six months where we were preaching in nation after nation. nation. We stopped for a couple of days in Israel. And we knew the folks that took care of the tomb, garden tomb. Garden yeah. tomb. Yeah. And so it was closed hours when we came. But we had the we had the fill of it. We could go in and uh, we went into the tomb, nobody around. We went inside, we knelt down and uh, prayed in there, and it was very precious. But this time I'm talking about is when I was preaching and uh, the service. And I don't know if we had a communion service that day or not, but um, uh, anyways, I remember here I am preaching and that huge rock that was rolled away. <laughs> I could just imagine that day when the angels rolled it away and I was anointed to preach and the power of God came down. Now, you may not believe that. You might uh, be uh, of, of that nationality, not nationality, but that denomination that you don't see too much uh, physical manifestation. But that's all right. You know it's in the Bible and you know what is of God and what isn't. But the spirit of the Lord uh, it came down so strong that when we were going in, and a lot of them, I think that was the Japanese preachers, where we yes. had about 40, 40 uh, or 50 preachers. That, and women and men. And and women. The, yeah, and the yes. women too, because the, the Japanese wanted, wouldn't go unless I took them, because they wanted a, a Jewish minister to take them over to Israel. And uh, not that I know that much. Uh, we were never uh, Orthodox Jews, but we were, uh, I guess, liberal. You called them liberal when I was a child. Anyways, here I am. I preached. The anointing came down. We prayed for the people. And then we were going into the bus. And I remember this one bus driver. Uh, the people were literally shaking and some trembling. Some were like drunk. I mean, not all, but some were drunk. And these Japanese, they're very uh, conservative. And and this bus driver that was taking us to, to the next location, he says to me, he said, uh, uh, Reverend Abram or Mr. Abram, whatever he called me. And uh, he, he said, should we take these people to the hospital? I says, no. I says, that's just the power of the Holy Spirit upon them because they were... It's kind of staggering, not everyone, but they were kind of staggering, some of them, that they could hardly get on the bus. He had to help get on the bus, yeah. especially those ladies, I remember. Yeah. Well, we had a great time. God answered prayer. I believe people were healed and delivered. Julian, do you remember we had those hats made for them, which said, Jesus Christ is Lord in English and Japanese. Those baseball hats. And, and they were looking at these Japanese people because they had heard there wasn't many Christians in Japan. No. And here's all these Japanese Christians with these wonderful uh, 
halves of that statement, Jesus Christ is Lord. They were amazed. I, I got, we got the hats for the, the caps. Uh, they were this kind of real bright blue, light blue, and it had on there, Jesus is Lord. And here's all these Japanese that were with us yes. and had that on. And then let me bring you now to my favorite place. And my favorite place to preach. I, I can't believe, remember anywhere in the world that I enjoyed it more than there. Uh, it was on on uh, on the mountain, Olives. Mount of Olives, overlooking Jerusalem. And there you could see the Dome of uh, Omar. Uh, that's the, it's it's Muslim, but it sure does look nice there with that gold top look overlooking uh, Jerusalem. And I, I, I was there and it's an amphitheater. And it was full, not only our folks, other people, they filled it up. And I, I, and I was preaching some of the last words Jesus spoke from Mark 16, the 15th uh, to the 20th verse. You can look it up in your Bible where he said, and uh, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. And uh, he, he that believeth on me, uh, and and you go on and says in in my name you shall cast out demons you shall speak them in new tongues you shall lay hands on the sick they shall recover and the disciples after Jesus ascended into heaven went everywhere the Lord working with them confirming the word with signs and wonders following you read that in the 16th chapter of Mark the last four verses of the book of math of Mark anyways I was preaching that and. And and uh, I I had an anointing on me, and you that are preachers, you know what an anointing is when, when it comes upon you. And some of you during your times of prayer, when it comes upon you so strong. And I was preaching, and then I remember looking over my shoulder, because from the amphitheater you could see the city of Jerusalem. I could see the J city of Jerusalem, and I thought of that scripture uh, in the gospel where Jesus said. Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jeru Jerusalem, how often would I gather you together as a hen gathered their chicks, uh, and, and and you would not. And he, God had sent prophets and prophets. And here I am now at the spot where about 500 were gathered when just before Jesus ascended into heaven and where he said some of the very last words that he spoke before he left this earth. And, and 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 that anointing was so strong, and I thought, how wonderful it was, not only to preach God's word, but to preach it where Jesus preached it. Amen. And has that message changed? No, it has not. No, it has not. And friends, let me just add this. This is why. Global Vision is on uh, almost daily in its bro broadcast on all over the world, both in Spanish and Russian and en en English, of course, number one, Spanish, Spanish and uh, Russian, Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. And these languages are almost going along continually. And and that is that's just a small part of this ministry of global vision. Walter and Nina had a vision of this, and they have a vision for the ministry they're carrying on. Not only are they preaching, not only are they going, not only are, but they are adding helps, like in like in uh, Ukraine itself, and in Russia. I know we we assisted we. Our ministry bought a couple hundred buildings over the, what, 15, 20 years, whatever it's been, since the fall of, of the, uh, yeah, more than uh, the years go by so quickly, uh, over, over the years, helping them. Even my mother uh, uh, got some pictures just the other day. My mother was a, one of the first ones to buy a building there in Ukraine. It was a house in a village where a, a little a church was planted. And she paid $300 for it. And they have 
43 members. It's full and, 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 and it's packed with people serving God in that village. And of course we bought all kinds of buildings there. And, uh, and we, we trained, I, I know we worked with Walter uh, training these in the, in the schools of ministry, three month uh, buildings or three month schools, because we had to get the, get workers to, to pastor the churches that were being planted. And uh, uh, we, we trained, I know myself, I don't know how many Walter, Walter would be close right at it, if not more, but, uh, we we trained over five thousand workers in evangelism in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, and that part of the world. Well, there 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 was great revival when it first happened. Then it, it kind of died off a little bit until this war came. And how can war have anything good come out of war? Well, I'll tell you this: people have had a hunger for God now and a hunger physically and and uh, the Global Vision has helped feed thousands of people. They have uh, provided over, what was it, 20,000 stoves? Uh, or 2,000, 2,000 was it, stoves? <laughs> and, and put in some wells, help with water, help with uh, food. And you know what has happened? Uh, though people have moved out of that eastern part, or western, yeah, the eastern part, the eastern part of Ukraine, because of the war, yet so many stayed there, and and they have started. They filled the churches to overflowing, because of the food. They've come, and thousands of people have come to know the Lord Jesus and Johnny, Christ. Not only that, but they sent out missionaries. As those people that moved to other countries, they yes. started mission works in those countries, and they're preaching and built ch or started churches open all churches over all europe. over europe yeah yes. marge isn't europe one of the biggest mission fields in the world people don't go to church there anymore yes. and uh, yet uh, the ukrainians that went all over western europe have been opening the churches uh, that, that, that so so much good has come out of that yes. mm -hmm. and of course global visions involved in in, in latin america uh, now they're in cuba right now they are, uh, they're involved in Africa, in uh, Nepal, in India, and they are doing, a, this ministry is doing a tremendous work, and it's a faith ministry. And here's the, here's the great thing. The Bible does say, know them that labor among you, that where, where monies are going out for global vision to help in these locations at different parts, the people are known. The, the, the pastors and leadership are known. You know, if there's a bad apple or a few uh, here and there, they're not getting help. It's the ones that are doing the job that are doing the work of God. So the money is not wasted. So much can be wasted. So and if you're like me, uh, I don't like to see any waste, especially in the ministry. Uh, I believe that when, especially when the widow gives them two mites, that that should be used for the work of God, not be driving, uh, fly, buying airplanes or buying limousines and fancy cars and this and that. And, but, but the money should be used for winning the lost. Yes, and this ministry is doing it. And if you can help. Now, I'm sure that uh, Nina uh, will have the address, I know that March probably could tell it by, uh, by heart, but the address where if you are moved by God, and I hope that you are, that you can invest something. And it doesn't matter where the money's come from, different parts of the world, uh, it will be it, the best to come in U.S. dollars since the world still, as weak as it's getting, still is using U.S. dollars, but euros. Uh, uh, money's from Japan, uh, money's from uh, China, anywhere can be used for the glory of God. And you can have from Pakistan, from from the Philippines, you folks can help. And if you do, God will bless you. I, you know, Marge and I were ministered in countries all over the world. We have ministered all except for a few months that Marge worked. 
uh, we have lived by faith. And now how long it is? Over 61 years. That's how long we've been married. And uh, I still love this girl. And uh, she's my, still my sweetheart. And, 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 and the uh, feeling is mutual. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And, yeah. uh, and that's how I, I, we look at Walter and Nina. We see ourselves in them a lot, don't we, Marge? Yes, their Amen. ministry, their calling. And we believe that uh, they are doing the will of God and their calling. And uh, as we try to do, we follow yeah, the Lord yes. wherever he sent us, yes. wherever he opened doors and wherever he closed doors, we tried to be obedient. Yes, we? yes, we have. Yes, yes. we have. Uh, we could talk about that. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe next week we, we might be doing, uh, yeah, we might be doing the program again next Wednesday. So uh, uh, I, I believe that tomorrow I'm supposed to have uh, Marcy on the program and I'll, I'll be interviewing her, and I know she'll have uh, a real good message that, that will bless each and every one of uh, you that will listen and, and tell others to uh, listen in. And that's why we want you to hit that, hit that share button so much. But we, we need to pray for the nations right now. So, uh, Marge, uh, we, we need to do that. But you know something else that's even more important? Uh, there might be people out there, we've talked about, receiving jesus as a personal savior and i know that you that i could do it uh, but would you would you would you lead the people today to the lord yes. those that would uh, pray the sinner's prayer we and call it pray sinner. after me and i'll pray after you yes okay amen what a privilege it is it's a blessing to pray for those that need jesus and are opening their hearts to the lord wherever you're listening right now Jesus wants to be your personal savior. He wants to be involved in your home and your life and in your family. He wants to be your redeemer. He wants to forgive your sins and, and make you his child. Yes, so yes. as we pray today, as you pray, you just ask the Lord to come into your life in Jesus name. Father, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And we know, Lord, that you are the one who gave your life for us. And I know that you are the one that gave your life for us. I thank you for your price that was paid for my salvation. I thank you for the price that you paid for my salvation. I thank you that you are my kinsman redeemer. I thank you you are my kinsman redeemer. You are the one who died and suffered for me. You die you are the one that died and suffered for me. And I believe today that you want to be my personal savior and i believe that today you want to be my personal savior lord i ask you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness lord cleanse me from all unrighteousness i believe you died for me i believe you died for me and i believe your great love was poured out on calvary's cross i believe that your great love was poured out on Calvary's cross. That I might believe on the name of the Son of God. That I might believe on the name of the Son of God. I ask you to cleanse me right now. I ask that you cleanse me right now. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Take away all my sins. Take away all my sins. All bondages. All bondages. And all deliver me from all sin. Deliver me from all sin. I ask you to come into my heart. I I ask that you come into my heart. Be my personal savior. Be my personal savior. I thank you right now. I thank you right for now. For your salvation. For your salvation. I thank you for the peace of God that you're going to give me now. I thank you for the peace of God that I you're giving me right now. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer and meant that, then do three things. It'll help you to grow in the knowledge and in the very power of God. Number one, talk to God. Talk to the Lord just like your personal friend. He's your personal savior. Well, how about him 
and making every personal friend. Talk to them like a friend. We call it prayer, but just in your own words. Second, uh, talk to uh, <laughs> the second thing, let him talk to you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was getting in my head to the third thing. Uh, let him talk to you. And how does he talk to you? Through the word of God. And he takes that word and he speaks to our spirits, to our hearts. And third, get get involved in a Bible believing uh, fellowship or church, uh, and 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 grow in the knowledge of the Lord. And things will just it might not be good English. Marge gets after me about my English sometimes. Being Canadian born, uh, she got to have more of that proper English. But serving Jesus gets gooder and gooder. Every day, Praise every day Lord. with Jesus is sweeter than the day before, and and uh, and, and grow in the Lord. Well, March, well, you 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 pray for Canada and United States, and I will I will pray the, for the rest of the world. Okay. Right. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you that you're on the throne. You're interceding for us. And for the nations. And Father, we bring America to you, United States. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name for all the leadership, for the president, his cabinet, Lord, for all in authority over us, Lord. As you asked us to pray, we pray for them. We pray for all the parties in Jesus' name. We pray for those in Washington, D.C. We pray for the move of God and the Holy Spirit to move in this nation. Thank you, Lord, for parts and parts of the country where there is a a moving of your spirit in the universities and colleges and churches, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name for your Holy Spirit to move in the nation of America, Lord. In Jesus' name and all its territories and states, Father, in Jesus' name, move and let America be saved, Lord. These that are coming into the country, Lord, Father, they would be saved. Their souls would not be lost, but they would be saved. We ask in Jesus' name for the moving of your spirit. Bless the ministries, Lord, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Bless them, Lord, and use them for the glory of God and our testimonies as we share our testimonies with others and all that you've done in your delivering us and setting us free from sin and bondages. We thank you, Lord. Set people free, those that are in cults and, Father, those that are in all the occult, Lord. We pray for them. Set them free. Let them call on the name of Jesus. And then we bring Canada to you, Lord. We bring the prime minister to you, Lord. We bring his cabinet. We bring them to you, Lord. We ask that you would save them, Lord, in Jesus' name, or remove those that, Lord, need to be removed from authority, Lord, that we would have godly leadership. We pray in Jesus' name for the provinces and territories. We pray, Lord, for the premiers of the provinces, Lord, and territories. We pray for the MLAs and MPs, Lord, members of parliament, members of the legislative assembly, Father in Ottawa. We pray for the provinces. We pray, Father, for you to move and send revival to the churches and to the peoples, Lord, and the colleges and universities also, Lord. Father, bless the ministry. Lord, bless those that are preaching your word, the pastors, evangelists, the prophets, apostles, all of them in Jesus' name. We pray just use them for the glory of God and may many souls come into the kingdom of God in our nations in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bring South America, we bring the nations of all of Latin America, Lord, the countries in Africa, we bring the countries in Europe and Western Europe, Eastern Europe, uh, UK, Lord, uh, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, uh, we bring this, uh, uh, bring the islands of the sea, the Caribbean, Lord, yes. all these other nations uh, that, in Lord, Jesus whether it be from the North Pole to the South Pole, we in ask Jesus that salvation name. would come to Australia, New Zealand, yes. uh, and uh, Lord, uh, there in the uh, Pacific Islands, uh, in Jesus', Jesus name, name, to the territories uh, 
of yes. nations, Lord. Uh, yes. Let there be great revival. Yes. You see the sick, you see yes. the afflicted, but most of all, those that need to be saved, we pray for the persecuted yes. uh, in church, in, uh, especially in Asia, Lord, yes. uh, that you undertake. Oh, and once yes. again, for the people of sure. Taiwan, Lord, China. spare them. Those oh, that are Lord. buried beneath buildings, Jesus. help them to get them out oh, yes. in, Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus. And bless Walter and Nina once yes. again and yes. the team. Uh, and Lord, we're thanking you that uh, from that heart attack, our dear brother uh, Albert. Albert is recovering. Yes. Uh, and uh, Lord, and yes. for our uh, for the granddaughter of, of our dear brother uh, yes. Daryl and, yes. and sister Vanessa, that yes. their 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 granddaughter is oh, receiving yes. healing. And we were using them too as a point of contact for all the others that we've prayed for and that have sent requests that they too may feel an answer to prayer and give God all the honor and glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, the time has gone by so quickly and uh, we have enjoyed being with you. Once again, uh, pray for Walter and Nina uh, Zagravich. Uh, and Global Vision, uh, as they are there in Cuba, and uh, and God is doing good things, yeah. and keep on holding on, and uh, God willing, I will probably see you tomorrow, and uh, and we are just believing God to do good things. <laughs> What's that? Oh yes. Uh, what does Walter and Nina say? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. And I, I, we say, remember, Tony, Marge, Abram love you, but God, God loves, loves you, you more. more.